become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. But a fledgling must leave the nest, for a big world awaits. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series. Owen Piper will be on the mound for the series opener. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over third. five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. He's just not giving his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Tim Money is at the plate and he checks his swing for ball one. HR, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Matt, this has been one of those up and down teams. They lost the last game, putting them at 500. Everybody wants to play above 500 baseball. Maybe they'll be motivated by that alone. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Conrad sprinting after it, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Hey, you can do it again. No one better up there. Let's first go. baseman, Darren Vogel. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Hey, be patient. Pick one out and drive it, kid. Runners on the move for second. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Digging in for his second now at bat, bat, Tim Short Money. Cut. Tim Money. in there and it's 0 and 1. If you're able to locate your fastball like that you're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because he's been spotting that fastball pretty good most of the game. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Bases are empty one man out. This is on the ground over to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Riding in once again, Tim Shortstop. Money. He singled Tim in two trips Money. to the plate thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. Well, I don't know how he missed that pitch. That ball's in the zone a long time, but he missed it. I guess that happens. Yeah, I think he missed that one, Matt. But you know what? That's going to happen. Umpires are part of the game. They're human. They're going to make mistakes. He missed it. Oh, well, get over it. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Fouled back. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Hey, let's go, big fella. Steve One up. and two. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Conrad going back on it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's one run on two hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up, all tied at one and one.
Digging in to try it again. Tim Money. Altoona. He'll start things Good out start. for us here in inning Tim number eight. Money. Hey, no one better. Let's go, kid. Swing and a line drive. And that oh, finds no. some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. That's a big leadoff hit late in the game right there. Now you're down one. You get the leadoff guy on. Now he can do a lot of things. Will he steal? Will they bunt him over? Will he score 21. on the gapper? Maybe score on a home run. And there he goes towards second. Pitch outside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to put... In a strike, here it is. Runner breaks for third. And this is pulled hard, but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. And now action in the bullpen as their closers start. Deal on two and two. Hit strike three called. The throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. So kind of a questionable time to be trying to take third as that very easily could have been a strike him out, throw him out, double play, but he is in there with one away. Ready with the one and one. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Ready on one and two. Curveball that time, not even close. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Come on, baby. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ball three. Three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Crowd gets up for the three two and he struck him out. And wouldn't this be something if he could work out of this with that one run lead still in check. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Elias Diaz. He's all for one thus far. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. It's swung on and hit in the air. Rayburn is there to make the catch and a great job of pitching as they strand the potential tying run at third. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Bay Sox lead this thing two to one. Ready for another shot now. Desmond Levine. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. On the ground left side. That's a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. And it's a four to one game. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Digging in and looking for more. Tim Money on the night. He's two for four with a pair Money. of singles. First delivery to him on the way. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. One and oh. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Way in front of that fastball. Three runs already home here. Swung on and missed. One and two now. What a difficult combination. 96 mile an hour fastball. Then he comes back with the curveball. So difficult to not sit on that 96 and be able to react to that curveball. It's a tough combination. 
Labine has got it, and the side is retired. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd is now hey, come on, guys. digging in once again. Willis Piper, and it's a strange line developing for Willis him in this one. He's Piper. been walked several times. Hit on the ground out to short. Two is left. Money. Throw in time at first for route number two. At the plate, Tim Money. He'll lead things off now as we play inning number 12. Money. Hey, your pitch, get some wood on it. Lifted the other way out to left center. Conrad is after it, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Around second now and headed for third, and he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go-ahead run. That was not the way this pitcher envisioned the beginning of the game. Going for him wasn't that bad of a pitch. He jumps all over it. Nobody can run it down, and he's standing at third feeling pretty good about himself. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty First starts base, to get loose. 21, Darren Vogel. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to right do guy, that right, right here. Nope. Bouncer down the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. So there's ball four. And it wouldn't surprise me a bit to see the next guy get four wide ones as well. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Ready once again, Gil Garcia. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 3 0 takes a knee high fastball. 3 and 1 with 2 on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. The 3 1 pitch, and he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Now batting. Catherine. Elias Diaz, Elias the next to hit. Diaz. He's 0 for 2 hey, with a right walk guy, thus right far. Punch up, drive me for us. The one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Rodriguez is there and that should be deep enough to score the run in to score the runner from third. Hey putting together good at bats late in the games can really help out and how about this sack fly right here good at bat. Man that was definitely a hard earned victory but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. Rich Chavis gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Bernardo Mora closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Altoona Curve and the Bowie Bay Sox. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Paul Pena, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's been really good. He's got two wins in the last three starts. His team's had an opportunity to be in the game deep and late, and he's walked away, like I said, with two wins. So let's see if he's able to get three wins in four starts after this out. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, and he reaches out for the fastball and drives it with authority the other way to left. And it is gone, a home run. 
So a two run homer down the line in left seven home runs for him on the year now as it's now a two nothing ball game. As soon as this thing left the bat you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it trying to pick things up where we now left batting. off. Tim has a money. Hitter. Tim money. He's set. Here it comes. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Two out with the man at first. Runners off for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Hey, she didn't rip it there. Let's go now. One time. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Piper over to his left. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The curve lead it three to nothing. Ready for another chance. Tim Money. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. Now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, oh, and it's one and one. Right From the stretch. And they pitch out Don't here, but nothing's one. happening. Ball two. Runners on first with hey, one down. It. Drive it. Let's go, big dog. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. And again a throw and the runner back safely. Here's the pitch on two and two. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Kent comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think. Now at the plate, Leading Tim the Money. He'll start things out hitter. here in a tie Tim ball game. Money. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and And now a pitch on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. Piper from the outfield grass. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So coming to the plate, Tim Money. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Rayburn is there, one quick out to start inning number nine.
stepping in Tim now money designated hitter Tim money before the delivery a check on that go ahead run at first and the runner back hey, get your pitch. You're all better up there. here's the first pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0 1. Grounded back up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are all tied 5 to 5. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Hey, he was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this here game. Now is with a pair of base hit. Time for minor league baseball here on and the show as we set our sights on the double-A Eastern baseball. League. Today it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the Altoona Curve and the Bowie Bay Sox. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Vaughn Drummond gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, H? As I look at this ball game today, one thing to keep an eye on is his at bats against the right handers, his approach against right hand hitters, because right handed hitters are hitting under 250 against him. And those are the guys that he's going to have to exploit if he wants to win this ball game. Batting third at the plate, Tim hitter. Money. He went deep in the contest last night. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Harold Reynolds, you take a look at the home nine as they enter play here this afternoon. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, I mean, it's been a little bit of up and down inconsistency. I mean, they're two and three in this homestand. Haven't played solid baseball, but they got a chance to get to the 500 mark with the win in this game right here. And then after that, who knows? Maybe get on a nice streak. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Striding in, Tim Money Designated comes into hitter. this at bat 0 Tim for 1 in the Money. ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Well, they have been really aggressive swinging early in the count, early in this game, and that's twofold. You're either not going to get a high pitch count from the pitcher, which could go against you, or you're going to knock him out. We're coming right after you and being aggressive. Right now, I think they're just being aggressive. Nope. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Set to deliver on two and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cortez in foul ground. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And Bowie is out in front. Three to nothing. Now in the box, hey, Tim right Money. He's 0 for 2 thus far hitter, in this one. Tim Money. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go. Here's the first pitch to him. And ball that misses down. ball one. That's the advantage of having a good two hitter hitting second in your lineup. He knows he's going to get something to hit because they're going to pitch to him. And now here comes the heart of the order. They've got a great opportunity to get on the board here. And he'll step off and fire oh. to the bag. And the runner back easily. Hey, 
ready with the 1 0 pitch. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2 0 now. Here's the 2 0. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. A runner at first with no outs here. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Kent will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command.